Starship, a mammoth of the spaceships ever seen by mankind. The latest from SpaceX, currently under development. What's so special about this spaceship? Simply three things, size, power, and rapid reusability. To explain a bit further, size-wise this colossal ship, 164 feet or 50 meters tall, with a diameter of 29.5 feet or 9 meters. Talking about power, Starship can launch 200 metric tons to Earth orbit with the mind-boggling 128 mega newton thrust Super Heavy Booster can produce. Lastly, rapid reusability, which allows Starship to relaunch within a short period of time after it returns back to the launch tower. Although the exact cadence of reusability is not yet fully ironed out, Starship is designed for it. The latest member of this development is set to launch in the coming weeks. The Starship is a two-stage vehicle. The top section, called Starship Spaceship, and the lower section called Super Heavy Booster. So, this time Starship launches with Super Heavy Booster 11, Starship 9. Currently, this behemoth is sitting on its launch pad for its final preparations and to complete all the FAA mandates. These FAA mandates are due to the result of the previous predecessor of Starship launch, which ended up with self-destruction. Remember, this is a working prototype, so many things can go wrong, but Elon Musk and SpaceX do not seem to back down. They are willing to take the risk. Most importantly, they want to learn from failures. Let's deep dive to see what are the possible five outcomes we can expect at the launch date. Number one, explosion at the ground zero. Starship won't be able to clear the launch pad. Exploration by the launch tower. Outcome will be catastrophic. The worst outcome SpaceX has to deal with. This will result in heavy damage to Ground Zero infrastructure, which may cause huge delays for the Starship program. Most importantly, this will affect NASA's Artemis program as well. Undoubtedly, this will be the most expensive damage in terms of both the money and time. Hopefully, SpaceX has done enough homework to avoid this situation. Number two, uncontrolled trajectory. Starship is able to clear the launch pad successfully and ascend to the two kilometer mark. Starship is able to reach subsonic speed. However, the ship's trajectory is off from its pre-configured path. An unfortunate situation. Starship or any other space rocket has to travel on a predetermined trajectory. If any uncontrollable deviation from this path forces it to trigger self-destruction. This same fate happened to the previous predecessor of the Starship. There could be many reasons for this failure. It could be software malfunction, multiple engine failure, and many others which rocket experts can determine. It is important to remember super heavy boosters designed to withstand multiple engine out situations. However, the absence of many engines may result in total failure. Number three, hot stage malfunctioning. Hot staging is a newer addition to the Starship. This design feature was not included in the previous predecessors of the Starship. This will be the first time SpaceX is testing this new capability with a Starship. You may ask what hot staging is. Hot staging is a procedure where Starship lights its vacuum Raptor engines before the Starship separates from the booster. So the momentum loss due to stage separation is very minimal. This is a complex maneuver. It requires very precisely calculated timing on engine light up and actual stage separation from booster without damaging each other. Failure to do so, Starship and booster may end up in a fireball. In this stage of Starship development, this is not a complete failure, but not the best outcome as well. Number four, Starship vacuum engines won't start. Raptor engines are SpaceX's latest invention. SpaceX has been developing and testing these for some time. Currently, these engines are in its second generation, Raptor 2. Previously flown, Starship had Raptor 1, first generation of Raptors. However, when it comes to the Raptor vacuum variant, these are only tested in simulated environments. Space is a harsh environment and not forgiving. Therefore, in-flight will be the ultimate test for these vacuum engines. Starship currently has three Raptor vacuum engines. Failure of any one of those will reduce the thrust by 33% approximately. This will be catastrophic. Without having adequate thrust, Earth's gravity pulls the Starship back to Earth. Most likely, Starship will be ripped apart by the uncontrolled atmospheric entry. 
If Starship lives up to this, it is already a win for SpaceX, but SpaceX have higher expectations. Number 5. Failure in Earth Reentry So many things can go wrong here. Starship developed for reusability in mind. In order to achieve reusability, Starship should stand Earth atmosphere reentry flawlessly. SpaceX developed their own heat shield to sustain heat and atmospheric pressures. But those are only tested in a simulated environment. Failure of the heat shield is going to be catastrophic. Most likely, Starship will be burned out in the atmospheric entry. This may look like a failure, but at this stage of Starship development, many experts predict this will be the definite outcome if Starship survives up to this stage. Although we hope none of these disruptions take place, there is always a possibility SpaceX is able to come out with complete success. We know SpaceX is doing much due diligence and simulations to avoid these disruptions. However, the SpaceX we know is famous for pushing their prototypes to its max limits. Once, Elon said, failure is an option in Starbase. If you are not failing, then you are not innovating enough. Now it is the time we have all been waiting for the last six months. Can you think of any other potential failure scenario Starship may face? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to notify more. While this helps us grow, it also ensures you do not miss any of our future content.